In this video, we will take a look at the Airsoft IFAC pouch. All right, let's start on the outside and then we will move on what's in on the inside. First thing that I want to mention is this very strong Velcro, which reveals the red cross. If you don't want to have the red one, by the way, you cannot remove this, but you can cover it with this patch if you want to have it stealthy and not shining in the forest. So this is the first nice feature that I really like about it. You can choose whether it's black or whether it's red. Now on the side, you will see adjustment straps. This is already elastic, but if you put something smaller than the uh, medical pouch that I have inside, more on that later, you can also tighten it up and it will be nice and tight. Same on the other side. From the back, we see a uh, molly and to attach this, you will need this uh, malice clips. You probably know how to use them. If not, just uh, scroll down. There is a guide on how to attach it properly. You basically just wave it through and you can add it onto your plate carrier, battle belt or wherever you have molly. Very important. It doesn't need to be just like this. You can also put it horizontally. Like I said, on the bottom, you will see how to attach it and what the options are. Now we can move on to the inside. So let's show the fast deployment feature. You basically have a pull tab right here that is by default attached. So it's not gonna dangle and tangle into everything that you find on your way. So it's nice and snug. You just get it and you can basically take this out, which is a separate compartment. This stays on your belt and now you can start using whatever you have inside. When we take it out, we see that we have the Airsoft First Aid Kit. This is a simple kit for small things. This is not meant to, you know, save lives and, you know, be used in the, in the war zone. For Airsoft, it's perfect, but nothing stopping you from taking out everything that is inside, you know, the regular stuff and putting your tourniquets and gauze and some uh, blood cloth, whatever you want to use for real purposes, you can put it in, in this, and then use it in this. So those are the options. You don't even actually need this if you have something to hold it all together in this insert. As for the insert, a very simple one. It's just meant to, you know, pull the thing out in one piece and then, you know, you can pack it back in. Now, if we put back everything that we took out, I'm gonna show you how that works in case you are curious. It is pretty self-explanatory, but you know, since you are watching this video, you probably want to see the details. So you click it in place with this button, just like that. Now we have it in one piece. This is how it looks like. And now back into the pouch. And that's it. We can close it and we can repeat the process again. There you have it. That's the IFAC pouch. This first aid kit doesn't come with the pouch. It's up to you if you want to use this one for airsoft purposes or if you want to build like a, like a dedicated one for whatever your needs are.